Sagittarius, welcome to your just in time tarot reading. Now, if you're watching the Saggy Trust, that there is a message here for you. Whether you're a regular viewer or this has popped up in your feed, your homepage, and you felt the call to click on it, trust that there's something here for you. Let's start with a couple of oracle cards. And Sag, I have conclusions are within reach. So maybe you're about to achieve a goal, dream, wish. Maybe something's coming to completion, conclusion. It's the eclipse energy of this oracle deck. Now, eclipses can be fast. They can be unexpected sometimes. They can be life-changing. This is such an incredible, powerful energy. Okay. Uh, not the eclipse that's unexpected, but it can bring unexpected shifts is what I meant by that. Okay. Let's go to the oracle of the angels and build on this. blessing wow okay so you are being told that there is a hidden blessing here or you are moving towards a blessing okay a blessed conclusion a conclusion that brings a blessing a blessed outcome let's go further so i'll get you a major arcana and then i will head to the full tarot deck Oof, hang man. Okay, so you're waiting at the moment. You're either waiting, Sag, or if you are involved uh, in something like a project or, you know, a recruitment process or whatever it may be, it could be that there is a, a holding pattern. Things could be a bit stuck here. There could be a sticking point. So that is interesting energy. It feels like there's either a, a block, a hold up, or you are, are waiting, right? But I, I really feel that whatever you're experiencing, if there is a delay, it's for a reason because that's how the timing's going to actually line up best for this blessing, okay? So we have to trust like that whatever you're experiencing right now is perfect, but there might also be something that you can do okay i'm seeing the seven of cups and the two of wands i'm not going to take them but i'm going to tune into them because the seven of cups can be that you're feeling a little bit confused as to the direction to go or what's going to happen here and you're really wanting that two of wands energy i want to be able to expand i want to be able to get on with things but at the moment they are held up and stuck the lovers has come through yeah, it may, it may be in, in a love relationship or partnership for some of you, but lovers is often choices of, you know, matters of the heart or, or big heartfelt choices here. So maybe there's a big decision that you are needing to make, or maybe you were on the receiving end of a big decision here. And you're sort of waiting for that harmony point, okay? So I've pulled the, the Ten of Swords, and that decision that you are making really is a stay or go decision. Again, being a, a general reading, I'm not limiting this to love, because this can also be around career, because career is also a partnership with an organization, right? And we can be in love with what we do, or, you know, it can feel Ten of Swords that like we're being taken advantage of as well. Going back to the Hanged Man energy, that's the card that comes before the Death card in the sequencing of the Major Arcana. So with the Hanged Man, I often say that we're at pause or we're waiting because what we might be resisting is the end point, right? Is moving through the Death energy so that we can uh, go forward, so that we can go forward to temperance, right? Where things come into balance. So I feel that we're looking at an ending here there is a big decision. The decision may be yours or you might be on the receiving end of the decision. But either way, you're being told it's a blessing for you. The Ten of Swords is always shown as having this beautiful dawn on the horizon, meaning it eclipses the darkness. So if you are going through a difficult time, we have, you know, uh, the brightest dawn after the darkest night, conclusions within reach. And we have an energy of being aligned to a new blessing. Four of Pentacles is here. It's a holding on energy. So be mindful where you might be creating your own block by holding on to something that is at a natural completion in a uh, completion point. Sometimes it can be our fears and worries that are holding us back with the Four of Pentacles. But the Ten of Wands is here to just remind you that this situation has become some sense of heaviness to you. Could be a burden, Ten of Swords. It could be causing you stress and, and mental distress 
It could even be affecting your, your energy, which of course in turn affects your emotional state and, and your immunity and all of these things. So we are looking at a very definite end point here is what I'm getting. And that is what's going to lead to your liberation. Yeah, Three of Swords. So we've got a severing of ties. And it's not easy with the Three of Swords, and I acknowledge that. But the Three of Swords is a three for a reason. It's the number of the Empress in the Major Arcana. Because out of this ending is going to come some beautiful new creation, new beginning. Where it's... I mean, the Empress energy is things like health, wealth, vitality, and abundance. So if you're honest with yourself, the situation that you're in right now doesn't feel like it holds that energy. It holds the opposite. Page of Swords says it's time to open the lines of communication. Albeit it might just be slowly, surely, or a little bit. We need to really start the discussion here. And I think that once you do... It will sort of open that floodgate to change. Here's our two of wands that was trying to get out of the deck. And here's the Empress, number three, in the Major Arcana. This is your end goal on the other side of this. The Empress wants to greet you. She wants to align you to your best self, your best life. I always say that the two of wands, it's somebody who's standing at the top of the tower looking out on you know on the empire on the kingdom wishing they could be out there but feeling stuck where they are but it takes a faith leap and it takes trust and it takes a decision of the heart but i feel conclusions are within reach and maybe this reading is part of that decision making process for you the universe wants to expand your life and get you out of this kind of stagnant point that you're in but you will need to feel the fear and move into the energy of the unknown and the energy of change. But Sagittarius, you are being told that this just could be your biggest blessing yet. I'm going to leave it there, Sag. I hope you enjoyed this reading. If you'd like to follow up with a personal reading, first link down below will take you to my website. There are other links down below for you. I have a free Learn Tarot Quick Guide if you'd like to get started interpreting the cards for yourself. There is also my Instagram and TikTok accounts. I'm active and interactive over there with daily uh, energy readings and insights. And um, there's also my more immersive tarot course, The Initiation. I teach a full foundation in tarot and my signature professional reading process there. So uh, if you want to take things further with tarot, that, that's your, your place. I'm going to leave it there. I'm sending you love and magic, Sag. Bye for now.